nobody can Mushy Mushy Peeps, I'm Christopher London, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back, batch. Yeah, I feel pretty good today, and I was like, man, let me give my crew a story, because y'all the golden crew now, that's what that's what you guys are going to be called. You know, I'm Golden Boy, y'all, my fam, we in a crew together, so we going to be called the golden crew. Y'all cool with that? Cool. So anyways, I got a story for you guys today. It's Friday, y'all already know what it is. This video might be a little late, but that's okay. I used to be a lifeguard. Yeah, your boy was on Baywatch and shit. <laughs> <Bounce>. <laughs> Bounce. It wasn't really like that at all, actually. I don't think it's ever like that. The training was actually a lot harder than the actual job. Like, you had to swim all these laps and shit. Like, a lot of laps without stopping. And you had to do it certain ways. You know, they got the butterfly stroke, the breast stroke, the back stroke. And they got the daddy stroke. <laughs> okay, then no, they don't got the daddy stroke. Going through that, that was actually hell. And it wasn't just a one day thing. This shit was like, I think two weeks. But anyways, I passed. You know, your boy's CPR certified now. You know, if you if you laying on the ground out of breath, <laughs> I got you, girl, I got you. Okay, I don't know what, that, that didn't symbolize CPR at all. Now, I loved working at pools that didn't have a deep end. You know, it made my job a lot easier. So I was on post at a pool and it didn't have a deep end. I've never had to save anybody. So, you know, I was on my post, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking good. I got the tank top. I got my fanny pack and shit. I got my shades. I'm just like, your boy used to look good. Like I, I like, like that caramel chocolate skin tone. Right now I got like a, a dry cookie. Yeah. Anyway, so I was on post one day and this this lady came in with a kid, you know, she didn't have floaties. It was a black kid, so I know he can't sweat. He came in with no floaties, he was in the pool, and I was like, man, uh, regardless that your kid's in a kiddie pool, do you have any, like, floaties for him? Because the way the pool was set up is it was very easy for a kid to just walk off into the main pool because it was connected and I was on the opposite side of where it was at so it was a pretty far swim for me to come and get him and there's only one guard on post at the time because it's not a very big pool there's not that many people there so there's no point putting two on the post so I told the lady she was like oh I'll watch him don't worry it's gonna be okay he's just in the kiddie pool I was like I shouldn't let him in but okay fine i'm not gonna kick you out just because you ain't got no floaties and i don't want to ruin this little nigga's day so i don't want to be that guy so i was like all right whatever so i went on my post you know i'm watching him the mom is just on her phone she's just on the phone yapping and shit and not paying attention to the kid and the kid's just jumping around like just running around falling on his face in the pool and i'm like okay i i know i'm gonna have to watch this dude he's probably gonna fucking fall in the deep like the three foot end and i'm gonna have to go save him and by the time i jump in i i'm he, somebody's gonna save him already because there's a bunch of families around that area anyway so someone it's it happens every time you know so i <laughs> My ass just, I just never imagined me having to go in. A little later down the line, dumbass kid falls in. I saw him fall in there. I'm not gonna lie. I counted. I was like, all right, I'm giving him three seconds. If he, if no one jumps in, in three seconds, I, I'll jump in and go get the dick. And uh, I was like, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. I jumped in because nobody was, I guess nobody noticed. I blew my whistle, jumped in, and I fucked up my leg because, you know, I'm tall as shit. As soon as I jump in, somebody already got the kid, so I was like, I knew this shit was going to happen. I knew it was going to fucking happen. Kind of fucked up how I counted in my head, saw the kid fucking, he wasn't drowning, but he was, like, he could have. So I got out of the pool. I was like, look, man, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're not watching your kid, and... Look, yeah, just get the fuck out. And I could do that. You know, as a lifeguard, you could technically just come up with some shit. If you don't like somebody, you could kick them out. I hold a badge. I'm king of the north. So if the king tell you to get the fuck out, you better get the fuck out. All right, because you ain't following the rules. And I could just say, hey, you weren't following this rule, so this rule. And so, yeah, I can kick you out. She was pissed. All right. She's like, oh, I'm coming back. 
I'm coming back. And I was like, yeah, come back with some floaties, bitch. Then she get, she left or whatever, and I changed post. I was sitting in the front door. So I'm sitting there, and then I see the bitch again with the little kid. And this time, she's with this big-ass nigga. And this dude is shaped like the mountain from Game of Thrones. Y'all seen the mountain? Like, this dude was huge. The gate's locked. So at this point, I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Um, not letting these people in. I'm gonna have to argue with this big-ass nigga. That's exactly what happened. It's like, hey. You kicked my family out of the pool. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had, sir, that your kid needs some floaties. So I had to tell them to leave because he almost drowned and your wife wasn't really looking at him. And she's like, I was watching. I was watching our kid. Kicked us out for no reason. I said, ma'am. Oh my God, stop fucking lying. I was like, sir, I, I just, I just can't let you in. I mean, since you're here now, you can come in. But if it was just her, I wouldn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't really trust her. I'm sorry. And he was like, all right, let, let me in then. And I was like, well, just use your card and come in. He's like, uh, we, we don't have a card. And I was like, do you, do you live here? No, we don't have to live here. We, do, do we, do we have to, honey, do, she just looking at him like, you dumbass nigga. Cause like, you're supposed to live in the neighborhood to swim in the neighborhood pool. And I guess she snuck in and he just basically ratted her out. So I'm like, sir, you gotta be living here to swim here. I'm sorry, it's policy. And I was thankful because now I don't have to let this nigga in because he could have smoked me right there. But um, yeah, I was like, hey, <laughs> I can't let you in. And I don't have to let you in now. So if you could just leave, that'd be awesome. I wanna speak to your manager. I don't like the way you talk to my wife. And I was like, Boy, if you don't, I was like, all right, cool. If you, if hey, I don't care, man. I did not care. I could just tell my manager they're giving me shit, and my manager was cool. <laughs> like there was a piece of paper on the the desk for Domino's because that's what usually what we order. So I looked at it, and then I was like, oh, dude, I should just give him a Domino's number. So I gave him a Domino's number, and I thought he was just gonna put it in his phone to call on his own time. I didn't think he was gonna call it on the spot. I don't know why. Obviously, he's gonna call it on the spot. So he called it, <laughs> and I was like, fuck, now he's really gonna get mad. So he called it, and then, and I was just laughing inside, but I, at the same time, I was kind of like scared, because I didn't know how he's gonna react once he finds out it's fucking Domino's. Yeah, he called it, and he's like, what the fuck is this? You think this is a joke? Oh, sorry, I, I got the, that was the wrong number, I, my bad. And then I gave him the real number, and it was whatever. They still didn't get in, but yeah, I almost got my ass beat. <sighs> So, I know that story wasn't too crazy, but yeah, that's what that's what happened. I'm not the best lifeguard. So yeah, guys, if you really want to make some easy money, uh, be a lifeguard. You know, I was 16, so I didn't care if I got fired, uh, honestly, um, because all the money I received was really extra. You know, you're living at home with your parents, you're 16, so like... Wait, you ain't got bills to pay. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the story. Uh, I know it wasn't hilarious. I hope you guys liked it. Let me get a thumbs up for more stories next week. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm glad to be back making videos. I've been sick for a little while. I'm feeling, I'm not 100%, but I'm feeling better. And I appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys are sending me a bunch of message, you know, concerned and everything. And I appreciate your concern and your support for your boy. Your boy. Christopher London is back, and I'm ready to just pump out the content, baby. Give this video a thumbs up, follow me on all my social media, subscribe if you're new, new stories every Friday. I'll be in Cali this weekend, so I'm gonna do some daily vlogging while I'm out there, so be on the lookout for that. Join the crew, the golden crew, we in this Dang, like some chicken wings, all this drag. You guys know how I am with the outros, man. I'm just gonna do skedaddle. Skedaddle, when's the last time you heard skedaddle, fam? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm uh, Christopher London. Make sure you wear something tight. Peace! He had me like, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the deal? Why you niggas stay down my scales? Dude, dude, keep it real with yourself. You know your ass still playing, keep it real. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Holly Coyote, I'm the nigga with the plans. Niggas one last one day in these vans. Niggas couldn't grab one K in these fans. Believe me.